What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? This your boy, LB, and this LB TV. Yeah, I don't got my hat on today. But y'all see them waves spinning, don't y'all? Yeah. Better keep my waves right. But I'm back again with another YouTube video. And today, I want to talk about... Actually, I, want to, I don't want to talk about... I want to respond to all of this uh, debating going around about... Can Oakland, I know y'all see the flags. Y'all see them, look. Y'all see them flags. Can Oakland compete with the New England Patriots? I want to respond to the message. I want to respond to the debate that's going around. Because a lot of people keep saying we can, and others saying we can't because of our defense, how we played last year. But really, nobody know because the season hasn't started yet. We don't know exactly who on the roster. We don't know how they can perform on the NFL level. We don't know who's going to stay healthy. We don't know who's going to get hurt. We just don't know. But me personally, I think we can beat New England. We can actually compete with New England and go to the Super Bowl. For one, if Derek Carr, if we, keep, if we can keep, just keep Derek Carr off the field and take the pressure off of him, we can go all the way. We can win at least 14, 15 games. Only if we can keep Derek Carr healthy and keep him off the field. Like, don't allow Derek Carr to get hurt. Don't don't allow Derek Carr to get hit a lot. Let's use our offensive line to protect Derek Carr. We actually can go seven down linemen. Really, if we want to. If we really want to. But first... I'm going to start off with the defense. With the defense, we're going to have to put, we're going to have to put uh, defensive pressure on New England. We're going to have to put a lot of defensive pressure on New England and keep the ball all the time right hand as much as possible. Just keep the ball all the time right hand. If you can keep the ball all the time right hand, New England can't score. Because, if y'all didn't know, the Raiders, we don't turn the ball, ball over that much. We know how to protect the ball, and we know how to manage the clock. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be like the uh, Atlanta Falcons. And that, uh, got them, uh, manage the clock. Because, once you learn, once you know how to manage that clock, and got them, uh, not allow the other offense to get the ball, you, you will be fine. You will be perfectly fine. And another thing is, damn, what was it? Oh. Oh. Tom Brady. I'm going to tell you something about Tom Brady. Tom Brady, he wants the ball. When his team is losing, he wants the ball. And by the Raiders not turning the ball over as much, they're going to really put more pressure on him. They can put more pressure on the defense. We can, we can actually wear the defense down. We our offensive line can beat up, actually beat up any defensive line in the NFL physically. We can physically manhandle any defensive line. We can run the ball <laughs> ten times in a row. <laughs> keep that clock ticking, dog. I'm trying to tell you, we can keep that clock ticking. Just run that fucking ball down their throat. We, we don't even have to let Tom Brady touch the shit. We can get the ball in the beginning of the fourth quarter. New England down by, let's say, 14 points. New England down by 14 points. Tom Brady won't touch the ball until it's like three minutes left in the game. That's how bad, that's how good we can manage that clock. He won't get the ball until like three minutes left. And let us get the ball back. If we can get that ball back, What? If we, if we can get the ball back, we can beat them, dog. We can fucking beat them. But back to the defense, like I was saying. Put the pressure on Tom Brady. Tom Brady is not good under pressure. He made mistakes. You got to make him uncomfortable, man, basically. You got to make him uncomfortable. But with our defense alive, with Matt and Edwards being healthy, 
and we got Bruce Irvin in the back lined up behind uh Khalil Mack. If you or you, or you can put him behind um uh, Mario Edwards. That's a lot of pressure. You got Edwards pressure him. You gonna have Khalil Mack pressure him. <laughs> Khalil Mack unblockable dog unless you double team him dog and holding him. With wrapping them bum ass referees don't like make no on calls, throw no flags. But we're gonna have to get them in Oakland. We have to get New England in Oakland. But if we go to New England, you already know what they're gonna do. They're gonna start cheating. That bullshit gonna start happening. But with Irvin, Edwards, and Matt, and them new defensive tackles that we picked up, we gonna be trouble. We gonna be fucking trouble. Our defensive line is gonna be scary by itself because the uh, offensive line ain't gonna know who to block. Then they're gonna take the double team off a of clear map, and can't nobody block clear map one on one really. So clear map is good against the run and he's good against the pass. So we need to see what can the other defensive linemen do. Like the other defensive tackles that we just picked up can do. That's when we can actually determine what the Raiders is all about. Now, let me go to the secondary. With the secondary, Sean Smith, uh, David Emerson, Carl Joseph, and uh, Reggie Nelson. I believe Reggie Nelson is still on the team. I think I, I think he had uh, a two year deal, I believe. Well, it was a four year deal. I think it was between a two year or four year deal. But they need to stop. But I ain't gonna say Carl Joseph. I'm gonna say David Emerson, Sean Smith, and Reggie Nelson. They need to stop allowing the ball to fly with their damn head. But the only reason why that's happening because we can't get that pressure to the quarterback fast enough. Because most of the quarterbacks that we went against last year had a quick release, had a fast release, or they'll beat us down the middle, throw the, do a short pass down the middle, and boom, right there. The only reason why that was happening, because Mario Edwards was hurt, and they had to use Bruce Irvin to give Khalil Mack some help. So by you use, have to use Bruce Irvin, so that's going to leave the middle of the field open. So now, with the defensive tackles that we have, we can change up our defensive scheme and keep Bruce Irvin back back there with uh, the safeties and shit. So he can uh, cover the middle of the field. He can cover the middle field along with the middle linebacker. I actually need to go get a, a good, decent middle linebacker as well. So now we can have, keep all our defensive linebackers to watch the tight end. So, or, the, or we can use one of their linebackers to do a quarterback spy. Or use one of them to blitz. But that defensive line, to me, is looking good, dog. That defensive line is looking good, dog. With Mario Elson back. Mario Elson is unblockable, too. I'm gonna give that man his credit. When he's healthy and good, he's unblockable, dog. But that's why I personally think Ken Norton need to get a defensive scheme to where the Oakland Raiders won't allow a lot of plays to fly over their head. All right.